Hello everyone, thank you for joining me as I create a card today using three of Evelyn T Design's um, June 2020 release. The first one is Best Friends Forever and I'll be using some images from Life is Beautiful as well. And I'll be using the sentiments from um, this set called Floral Surprise. Um, the three sentiments that I'll be using are Happiest, Father's Day, To You. So these are the three stamp sets that I'll be using today. So I've already pre-stamped the images last night um, using the Misty. I find that the Misty is the best way to stamp multi multiple images together um, because all I need to do is to fold up the cardstock, place the images where I want them to be. These images are all from Life is Beautiful and then I just stamp them. And if I find that the images are not crisp enough or um, they're not dark enough, I can just go over with ink again and just stamp it again. And um, you can stamp them as many times as you want until they're as dark as you want. Or yeah, basically it just helps um, if you need to re-stamp the images again. So I pre-stamped all the images last night. Um, and this little monster from Best Friends Forever 2 on a piece of scrap paper. Um, I save all my scrap papers for purposes like this. Um, so I pre-stamped them last night because it's easier to do so when the baby is asleep. And I'm pretty sure you all know how to stamp your images very well. And so I'm skipping that part for this video today. So after I color this monster, I will fussy cut it and I'll adhere it to the background image that I've already stamped on the cardstock. Today, I'll be using my Carandash Luminance color pencils instead of my usual um, Faber-Castell Polychromos. I'm coloring the um, beverage green um, because my husband loves matcha and this card, I'm making this card for him. If I were to be coloring it for myself, I would color it the color of coffee. I'm layering different shades of green to the matcha that I'm coloring to create intensity and depth. If you would like to create intensity and depth to the image that you're coloring, it is good to layer different um, shades of, of uh, colors in the same family group from the lightest to the darkest. And sometimes it's nice to use an indigo or a deep purple if you want to create shadows or you want to create even more intensi intensity to the image you're coloring. Um, I'm going to color the bunny a light gray color. Um, one thing to note, I realized that my Caran d'Ache Luminance color pencils are more opaque when I color them on stamp images. It goes over the stamp images and it kind of makes the black lighter. So it goes over it, it's not translucent, it's opaque as, as compared to um, Faber-Castell Polychromos. I'm going to use a darker grey that is available in this set that I have to make the image less flat. So if you create depth to the image, you add shading, it makes the image kind of more like come alive um, as compared to if you just use one color. When I was growing up, I only knew of two brands of color pencils, Faber-Castell and Stettler, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, so when we moved to the United States and I ha started getting more interested in color pencils, art supplies in general, I found out about Prisma color pencils. And um, so, and where we lived uh, when we first moved here was walking distance from bleak art materials. Um, so I like to walk there and just look at the art supplies. And I bought myself a set of um, Prismacolor colored pencils. Um, I obviously didn't do enough research or maybe the research I did was a little bit outdated because by the time I got into Prismacolor color pencils, they had already changed um, the wood that is encasing the color pencils. And the wood plays a very important part in color pencils. And because of that, the color pencils are more brittle and they break easily when you sharpen them, which is the problem I get when I sharpen my Prisma color pencils um, sometimes. I can sharpen them and they keep breaking, which is very frustrating. But they are 
they are really nice color pencils. They are really nice to color. The only thing about it is the breaking part. That is the part that um, I hope they will one day um, change and use better wood for to encase their color pencils because I think their color pencils are great. And as I fell deeper into this rabbit hole of wonderful world of art supplies, <laughs> I found out or I learned that artist brands have different categories to their art supplies. They have beginner level supplies, intermediate level supplies, and artist grade supplies, which was an eye opener. That's when I slowly um, learned and found out more about Faber-Castell having not just the kind of color pencils that I am used to but they have um, different grades and that's when I read up, uh, read up about um, polychromos and that's it. I invested in my box of 36 colors and then I um, kept my eye out for the box set which is 120 colors. So I'm using this color called light cobalt blue to color in this monster. Um, I find this color very special. It's not sky blue, but it's a very icy blue. And the only other time I've seen this color is um, in an aisle on in Michael's where they sell color pencils. It's not like, I think it's called the Gold Faber from Faber Castell and they have this um, same blue. So I'm, I haven't used Gold Faber uh, from Faber Castell before, but I might just get one in the future just to color with it and see how it compares to the luminance, um, the prisma color, and the polychromos. One thing I like to share um, about this current dash luminance is that the wood they used um, to encase the color pencil, it's I can't explain it but it's really nice to hold, which makes for an even more enjoyable coloring um, experience. If you would like for me to compare um, the brands of color pencils that I have, the Polychromos, the Luminance, and the Prisma colors, let me know in the comment section below and I will record a review video to show you and compare the three. I'm going to speed up the video a little bit so that you can see um, the coloring process and we will continue to chat in a bit. I'm adding a darker shade of blue to the monster to create texture and I'll continue adding several other layers of darker blue until I achieve the desired intensity um, that I'm looking for. I usually stop when I feel that the color is right and um, a lot of times that's how I work. I eyeball and I kind of Add the colors until I, until I feel that it's right and it's time to stop. Oftentimes I get it right, sometimes I get it wrong, but I think in art sometimes there's no art, there's no right or wrong, it's how you like it. So sometimes we may not like what we or we may not get what we set out to achieve, but it may not be totally bad. Someone else may think it's great. Besides, art is very personal, right? What we think is beautiful may not be beautiful to someone else. So let's treat this as an art therapy, our personal art therapy, and just enjoy the process and be kind to ourselves. I'm saying this to myself as a reminder too. In order to create a less busy looking background, even though I've stamped multiple images to create this backdrop, I will be using less uh, color groups. I will be using greens, browns, um, a little bit of blue to tie in with the monster, and a pop of pink, orange 
to balance the colors in the background. So finally, I will be um, fussy cutting the monster and I will be deciding where I want to place the sentiment. I'll be using the Misty because I want to um, stamp Father's Day first and then Happiest and To You um, later. I am using a black gel pen to go over the eyes to darken them. I'm just going to pop up the monster with some foam dots and I'm going to add some shimmer to the, some of the leaves in the backdrop. And here is my completed card. Um, you can't really see the shimmer but there's a light, slight shimmer to the leaves and I think that kind of adds extra interest to it. And these are the three sets that I use. I use Happiest Father's Day from Floral Surprise. I use uh, multiple images from Life is Beautiful, um, like some of this that I'm pointing at. And I use the monster from Best Friends Forever. So I have no problems um, getting the ink off if I'm using Versafine. And I can't remember which ink I use. It's probably Catherine Puller's or Lawn Fawn's, but I just can't get the ink. Um, I just can't clean it off. So if you know how to clean the ink off, please let me know in the comments below because I would really like my ink, my stamps to look like the rest. <laughs> so here's the card that I made today. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video, learning more about color pencils, chatting with well, listening to me talk. And um, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. Please um, click on the notification bell so that you will be notified the next time we have a video. And um, till next time, keep crafting and smile always. Thank you for watching. Bye!